SketchUp. So the first thing we're going to do is open up SketchUp, of course. This is SketchUp 2017. Haven't upgraded yet. Um, and then I usually delete this guy. Just gets in the way. And then we're going to import our file. So I usually like to use uh, PNG files because it already has the background removed. And then we're going to want to create a little box here. I extrude that up with a push tool. So now we have a cube. So what the only use that is is to rotate our drawing that's on the ground plane at a 90 degree so we can work with it as a tree is vertical. Um, so now we're going to want to right click on our file and explode it. So now you see we have the image, even though it's transparent, it's still a large rectangle. So that means when we cast, if we made this a component now, uh, it would the shadow would be cast as a large rectangle. So we need to remove that. And my the fastest way to do that here is to simply draw around the outline of the area that you want to keep. And I usually use that with the the line tool for the. Um, the straight edges, and then I use the freehand pencil tool to get these more difficult ones. And for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Um, usually I go through and add some more detail, because this really shows up in the shadows when it's all done. You really get this texture in the silhouette. It's going to go to the pencil tool. So now you see that our element, our palm tree, is now cut out. So now what we're going to want to do is de so select all, so select the whole image, and then deselect by holding shift, and then clicking on the part that we want to keep. And then you're going to want to right click on the selected area that's in this blue color, so right click and then hide. So then all that leaves us with is the element that we want which is just the palm tree image, and then the background is transparent. If you go in closely, you can see these white, these uh, blue dots are around the silhouette. So now that that's all done, we're going to want to right click on that, and then create, or make, component. Let's call this Jubea. This is the genus of palm, it's from South America. So once you have the title in, then you're going to set component, so that's axis at which this will be. So red is horizontal, x, y is the green, and then once you click that and lock it in, you're going to want to also click always facing. So that's what makes it so it's always facing the camera, and that's very important. And also you want to make sure that the shadows face the sun. And then when that's all done, you press create, and make sure that replace selection with component. That's going to replace this flat image with uh, your new component that's going to be facing. So let's press create. You notice no matter which way you move the camera, the palm is always facing. And then just to test out the shadow, you can see there's our shadow and it's shaped somewhat like a palm tree. So I think we have a successful uh, 2D facing component here. You can copy it. You can save this as a different file and use it in different drawings, and this is a really nice quick way to make your own um, 2D tree elements in SketchUp models, as opposed to just finding pre-made ones that don't really match the trees that you want. So hope this was helpful, guys. Give a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe. All right, thank you.